Now let's go to Mike. Ah, uh, sir, I think if those mice are hunting for Doritos, we'll know that they were the culprits. <laughs> Well, if you own a second property or maybe a timeshare or rental, you may be wondering what to do with it to best benefit you and your family after you're gone or how to save taxes and cut expenses on it. Here to talk more about that is Stuart Welch of the Welch Group here on Monday, Tuesday. Good morning to see you. Good morning, Mike. Uh, Stuart, first of all, let's talk about this. Uh, I, I have often thought about doing this. I know a lot of people own maybe a place at the beach or the lake, and, and the maintenance costs can be pretty tough. It can be, and this was uh, actually a, a viewer, it was a couple uh, uh, in their mid-70s, and they've owned a property for 40 years, okay. and uh, they're beginning, as, as they get older, they're beginning to use it less, and their children who have loved the property have, have their own families, and they're using it less, and they're going, what should I do? I got all of these expenses. Mm -hmm. So how, how would they, if, they, if they're saying, okay, I'm going to keep it for a while, how do they deal with the maintenance costs? Because as we get older, that, that may be tougher to do. Well, and he was doing, in this case, he's mid-70s, he's doing a lot of his own maintenance, and he's getting to the point where that's kind of hard to do. So I think there are three choices. First thing is you get everybody to get the family together and mm -hmm. say, hey, this is the situation that we have, uh, and see if we can pool our resources. Maybe the children can come in and do some of the physical labor. Maybe they can uh, pool their financial resources. And uh, as a group, maybe they can move forward, whereas the older couple is saying, I'm about to give up. The second thing they could do is they could consider renting. They've loved this property for 40 years. Right. They're bound to be other people that would love that same kind of vacation property. So mm -hmm. you can you can set it up. I'd start with friends and family. You mm -hmm. know, the uh, other extended family. Would you like to rent this? Right. Uh, we're going to put it in a rental program, or you can go to www.v. Uh, VRBO. V VRBO. I've thank used you. VRBO to rent places. So before. it's vacation rental by owner. Right. right. Uh, and it's a great site, and there are a number of different sites like that. The third option would be to sell it, which is one of the things obviously this family is considering. In this case, he's got about a $200,000 gain, so he's facing potential taxes of as much as $40,000. Mm -hmm. And if he were, if they're older, so if they were to hold the property until their death and then the children inherited the property, they'd get what's called a stepped up cost basis. They could sell it the next day and they would eliminate that potential tax. So those are really okay. their three options. Oh, very interesting. Now, I know last week we talked about annuities and real briefly, uh, I know you had some follow-up questions on that you could deal with. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of confusion around annuities. In this case, again, it was a, an older couple in their mid-70s. And uh, they're saying, what do I do with this annuity? I don't really need the money from it. Mm -hmm. And it was money in an IRA. It was an, an annuity inside an IRA. And one of the recommendations was to at least consider taking it out of the IRA, rolling it over into a regular IRA. Okay. And by doing that, you're going to eliminate uh, some of the expenses around there. I think the main thing is is to get some outside help, somebody who's like a CPA to look at the contract and help you make those kind of decisions. All right, great advice. Stuart Welch, thank you so much here on uh, Money Tuesday. Thanks, Mike. All right, coming ahead, we're going to take a look at your entertainment buzz news. You're watching Fox 6 WBRC.